What's good, y'all? Back from another video. So in this video, we're going to be explaining the origin of Man Bat. So if you like what I say in this video and you like the content that I have on my channel that includes Batman, Spider-Man, or video games featured on my channel, be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss anything in the future. If you want to support me on other social media, such as my game drill, my Instagram, my itch.io, since I am also a game developer on the side, I will leave those links down in the description box below. And let's start the video. Alright, so his first appearance was Detective Comics issue 400. So, when Dr. Kirk Langstrom was a child, he was wandering lost in a cave. The police found Kirk and he eventually met a young Bruce Wayne. Kirk showed how much he was influenced during that time in the cave by telling Bruce stories about his adventures in the cave with the half-bat and half-human creature he met in there, or creatures he met in there. Years later, in his adult years, he attended Gotham University and even met his wife Francine along the way. Kirk was studying in bats and believed he could discover a new medical breakthrough if he continued his work. After graduating college, Kirk became a zoologist and a nocturnal animals expert employed by the Gotham Natural History Museum. Using his skills and knowledge of, of bat genetics, he created a serum that was supposed to enhance a person's senses that include giving them enhanced hearing. So he tested it on himself. And we all know his comics, so at least one thing went wrong, and Man Bat was born. Kirk quickly noticed how his appearance was changing. Afterwards, while trying to find food, he crossed paths with Batman while he was hunting the Blackout Gang and helped him defeat the gang. After the fight, Batman wanted to thank Kirk and when his appearance was revealed to Batman, he thought Kirk was wearing a disguise at first until he saw him fly away. So Batman did some investigating on Kirk and found out he, who he was and where he lived. So after telling Francine everything he discovered about, about Kirk at his house, she helped Batman find him. And soon enough on his search on a police scanner, it mentioned a break-in and it must have been Kirk since he was still searching for a cure. So Batman confronted him now since he was fully man-bat and they battled. This actually caused Kirk to drop the cure that could revert him back to human form. Of course, this pissed him off and Batman replied saying he didn't know. But in that moment, if you were a creature and the last cure to revert you back to normal was destroyed from a little fight, you would lose your mind. So I understand that frustration. Anyways, another fight began between the two bats until Francine came in and was shocked at what, he, what she saw. Kirk quickly flew away and Batman revealed to Francine that that creature was actually Kirk, and which left Francine even more shook. Soon after, Kirk accidentally found a bat cave and stayed there until Batman came and they fought again. And of course, Batman won again. But this time, Batman made a cure for Kirk. Now, of course, this is comics, so that cure didn't last long, and there were plenty of times where Kirk had a cure and became Man Bat again, and then on and on, the cycle continued. And to be honest, this guy can't catch a break. Like, he, I wouldn't really count him as a as a official Batman villain, cause he actually he actually helped the Bat family from time to time too, like multiple times actually. He even helped um, Batgirl and Robin at, at a case once. Um, and that took place in New York in like a comic that, that came out way long ago. So we're going to get into his abilities, which the first one is agility, the second one is claws, and then he has good intellect and genetics, chemistry, and bats, of course. He has radar sense, flight, enhanced strength, enhanced hearing, enhanced smell, and he can also create sonic waves that actually can stun other, other people around him and, either sh and can even shatter glass. Also, a fun fact about him is that he's actually the first villain that appeared in Batman the Anime series. And to be honest, I wish they wish uh, Man Bat had more appearances besides like his appearances in the comics, since this is actually a good villain and a good like a good ally to the Bat family, since he also teamed up with the Bat family, like I said earlier. Um, but we all know Warner Brothers don't know what to do with the characters, so all we can do now is just hope. <laughs> but yeah, this. I don't, I don't see him appearing in the movies anytime soon, even though this is a good-ass character. And he's actually one of the most deadliest villains, well, quote-unquote villains for Batman. But besides that, that's going to be it for this video. If you learned something new and you like my content on my channel that involves Batman, Spider-Man, or video games featured on it, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss anything in the future. If you want to leave a comment down below by leaving a fact on Man Bat, or just uh, bringing up a discussion that you want me to go over in another video, 
Uh, leave that in the comment section below. If you want to support me on other social media, such as my Instagram, itch.io, and my game joke, I'll leave that in the description box below. So I'm also a game developer on the side too. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.